Uh, speaking of catastrophes, uh, I'm going to record two versions of this. So We're that, not talking uh, politics, okay? No, no. Oh, sorry. Um, did you guys know there might be the start of Kessler syndrome? Oh, no. In about... 24 hours or about 12 hours. So by the recording of this, I'm going to do it here. <laughs> so you um, may not be able to watch this. <laughs> uh, so I'm sorry to tell you guys all, but we no longer can access space because two satellites collided with each other. Um, but uh, oh, no. just pray for us all. Uh, here's version two. Two satellites came really close to each other, passing only about 25 meters apart. Uh, yeah. So, so this we'll is... We'll have to put is, either one in depending on what happens. Exactly. <laughs> this is uh, basically right now, uh, October 16th, which would be when this podcast comes out. That's something like, uh, I don't remember what the time is. It's like really early uh, in the morning. Uh, 56 UTC. So, yeah, um, there are two things that might collide and it'd be very bad. Kessler syndrome, to remind my third grade brain, is when it's just kind of out of control space debris mm -hmm. and then all global communications and things fall, right? Yeah. I mean, in the worst case scenario, we would lose all our communications and never be able to leave Earth again. So much for that no, full self-driving, yeah. Elon. Sorry, bro. <laughs> well, what, the good thing is the Kessler syndrome <laughs> would almost never knock out like our current like GPS and geostationary oh, satellites okay. because that's just so much higher orbits. Because they're way up further, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it would it wouldn't knock it out forever, like our our space capabilities, but it would set us back ten, twenty, thirty years because stuff in those lower orbits would deorbit relatively quickly. And the 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 scary thing is, say two satellites collide or two pieces collide and create all this new debris. And the the good thing is, debris can't really. People think in space like, oh, we'll just keep going forever. But really, everything in a in an orbit goes kind of in a an actual circle with itself, even so, it's constantly orbiting. And crossing the same plane over and over. So even though it'd be a, a debris field, it would never leave its actual real orbital plane too much. And same with the other debris field that it created. So it might create two debris fields, but they'll be kind of in roughly the same area. Now, the scary thing is if that debris field then ends up having a, another event, you know, and then if that event Hitting causes, another, yeah. that's yeah. where it can spiral. That's what the actual Kessler syndrome is, where it spirals yeah. out of control. Um, because you know we've it's, like it's COVID in space. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just what twenty twenty needs, right? So we just yeah. need to launch satellites with masks. Got it. <laughs> so I'm I'm confused. Did are they going to collide, or are they just getting really close? So as of the last update they had was was fifty four minutes ago. Data from the most recent events update show a missed distance of twenty five meters plus minus eighteen meters Ooh. at a sigma one uncertainty. We will gather observations and data tonight from the first radar pass after uh, TCA, which I think is. Did like you say sigma one? Event. So that's uh, yeah. one standard deviation, right? I don't or does that mean something really else? Know. Yeah, I don't. Uh, that's beyond me. Hmm. Um, I don't understand what that <laughs> we means. Need, we need but Scott Manley here to explain. The last, <laughs> yeah, but the um, <laughs> last I heard, they they were basically saying it was at, uh, between one and twenty percent chance of collision which is really high actually in the world of space flight that's like mm. very high um and one in five is what that means right if it's 20 percent, yeah that'd be one that'd be like one pretty, out of five so but the, don't remember don't forget that like you know in low earth orbit for instance who was it like uh india shot down a satellite just last yeah. year or whatever to and show it they could do it right yeah, I mean, it's like a, we've done it before. Russia's done it. I mean, we've all done it. So it's like it didn't, <laughs> it didn't create uh, yeah. Kessler syndrome. So just because these two satellites might collide does not mean Kessler syndrome is about to start. But it's uh, it's something that to well, keep you your... scared me at the beginning of this story. <laughs> I thought that's what you were saying. Click Clickbait. Bait. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll see. By the time this Please podcast comes it. out, we'll we'll see if we have a runaway mm. Kessler syndrome or not. I guess if so. this podcast comes out. That's <laughs> crap. <laughs> yeah, so this was what was um, dramatized in Gravity, basically. Mm -hmm. Yes. The movie mm -hmm. Gravity. Yep. Well, and don't forget the, the scary thing, too, now when you start thinking about Starlink is like yeah. we're doubling, tripling, quadrupling, ten times the amount of potential well, there. And it's not just Starlink. It's also the, the Kuiper project with Amazon. Mm -hmm. Amazon Kuiper. Mm -hmm. um, it's one also web. doesn't a radiant. There's a, there's one web or yeah. another. There's like a few different of these constellations mm -hmm. that are going up, mm -hmm. and each of them are going to be several tens of thousands of satellites. And yeah. if we don't get to launch the James Webb telescope, then 
you know, we'll all be real mad about that. <laughs> I saw well, someone tweet like after all this time. Is, someone tweeted like the James Webb telescope is like the hold my beer of telescopes. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.